Lincoln Boyhood National Memorial. This place is a shrine to Abraham Lincoln's life, and you almost feel his presence here. It's undoubtedly one of my favorite southern Indiana places, and there is no admission charge. The memorial is just off Highway 162 in Lincoln City, Indiana. Etched into the limestone walls are scenes from Lincoln's life. Many think of him as being born in Kentucky, a lawyer and politician in Illinois, and then president in Washington, D.C. However, Abraham Lincoln spent 14 years of his life in Indiana, from a little boy of 7 years old to a 21-year-old man. There's a gift shop and a movie about his life but so much more is here. Abraham Lincoln was a deeply religious Christian man. It's only fitting that a chapel be part of this place. If you want, you can even have your wedding here. There's a small museum with many artifacts from his life. The Nancy Hanks Lincoln Hall has some very interesting things to see. There's a functioning post office where you can have your postcards stamped from Lincoln City. In the corner is an artist rendition of Lincoln's mother Nancy that died here on the farm in 1818. No one really knows what she looked like, as photography was not yet invented until 1826, and having someone paint your portrait was a luxury most pioneer families could not afford. The meeting hall is a quiet place, 
where even a whisper can be clearly heard. Above the fireplace is a painting of the Ohio River and a lone flatboat floating downstream, presumably of a young Abe Lincoln. To me, this is the most powerful and moving object in the memorial. A young man that had no idea how greatly he would change the world only to have his life cut short by an assassin's bullet, so far from where he started. Down the hall and outside the building is so much more to see. The flagpole on the hill was once considered the tallest in southern Indiana. Behind it is a pioneer cemetery and his mother's gravestone. The exact location of Nancy's grave is unknown. What we do know is that when Abraham Lincoln came back from Illinois as a politician, he stopped at his mother's grave in reflection. It's a very solemn place. There's a long trail ahead to the Pioneer Village and a pretty steep hill. If you're not ready for a workout, you can instead go back to the memorial and drive to the Pioneer Village where this trail goes. There is also the Trail of Twelve Stones that have a stone from each significant place of Lincoln's life. On the west side of the trail, Leading to the village is a cabin fireplace and foundation that have been bronzed. It was once thought that this was the location of the Lincoln cabin, but that is now in dispute. At the end of the trail is the Pioneer Village. In season, you can see people in period costumes going about life as if it were the 1800s. You can imagine the experiences a young Abe Lincoln had here as a boy growing up to be a man. It was said that he was quite a wrestler and would travel long distances to wrestle with other boys. Past the Pioneer Village is a well where the Lincolns got their water. They had the basics of life and not much more here on the Indiana frontier. Just across the street from the Lincoln Boyhood Memorial is Lincoln State Park. Near the entrance is a memorial to Abraham Lincoln, detailing the years of his life and his accomplishments. There's a fine sculpture of Abraham Lincoln and the Gettysburg Address.
the park also has the Little Pigeon Creek Baptist Church. Abraham and his father helped build the original church that's no longer here. But the cemetery behind it is where Abraham's sister, Sarah Lincoln Grigsby, is buried. Sarah died in 1828 while giving birth. Abraham was very close to his sister, and he was completely devastated by her death. To this day, visitors have a tradition of placing a Lincoln penny on the carved wreath of her gravestone. Lincoln State Park is most famous for its large outdoor theater and annual production of Young Abe Lincoln. There are quick steps up from the parking lot, as well as handicap accessible ramp. Further down the road, there's a nature interpretive center. Inside, there's a wooden statue of Abe Lincoln. There's a pioneer fireplace as a setting to teach kids about life in 1800s Indiana. And numerous wildlife specimens from the area that would have been very common to the Lincolns. But perhaps the highlight of the park is the large lake. It's a quiet place to reflect in this small section of Indiana. It's amazing to think that one of the greatest American presidents grew up here and became someone despite very humble beginnings. It should give us all hope that no matter where we are now, we can end up somewhere entirely different. Sometimes we have to cross bridges of faith to see what's on the other side. And sometimes, it just depends on how the waters flow. A short drive from the Lincoln State Park at Gentryville is the house of Colonel William Jones. A young Abe Lincoln worked at his store, and the two became friends. 
when Abraham was on his campaign trail, he came back here to visit his friend and former employer. Ironically, the Civil War that started as a result of Lincoln's beliefs would result in an older William Jones volunteering for military service. He was killed at the Battle of Atlanta in 1864. None of us can predict the future. We make the best decisions we can and hope they're good ones. The rest of what happens, well, that's history. <laughs>